In terms of assessing the PBL projects, teachers really need to focus on the quality of the feedback and make sure it's timely feedback so that a student can utilise that to really improve their project. Often by putting a grade on an assignment we get the sense of well I did that or I didn't do that um, well and we want students to have a growth mindset to say well even though I might not have tackled that part of the project particularly well I have another chance, I have an have a opportunity to actually take that feedback, take it on board and grow from the, the process of doing this. PBL projects need to have a very clear rubric for students to follow to ensure that they know what they need to do to be successful within their, um, within their project work. A really good initiative is for students to hold a STEM showcase where they display their projects to authentic audience, get in parents, get in um, community experts, people who are experts in the field and actually give them rich feedback on the projects that they've been doing. This actually gives them the sense that the project is not just an in-house thing that they're doing for their teacher but there's an actual application of this within the real world. A really valuable part of um, feedback can come from the students' peer, own peer groups. So using the actual rubric that the teachers are going to be assessing them against, but giving the opportunity for peer um, evaluation of projects. And why that's particularly good is that students get a sense of what they are doing really well. They're getting a, that critical um, feedback on what they might need to improve, but also students can tell each other what they've learned from each other's projects as well. So there's a lot of learning that's happening and being generated within the actual classroom itself.